All right, let me jump in here for just a second. I want to apologize. This is not a video. We're going to go through this. This is for entertainment, right? We're going to go through the spring, uh, the spring turner. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the stuff, kind of the goods and the bads. But I apologize. I'm, I'm getting used to, I was using a, um, uh, like a GoPro basically with this hat and I had the angle a little wrong. So I clipped out a lot of some of the stuff that just didn't have a good angle on it. Um, so I'm going to practice a little bit more. I apologize for the angle being kind of low to the, to the, the camera, but you hear me still talking. You'll hear me kind of going through it. You can hear the sounds of it. Uh, I, I still think it's a good video. Um, so let me know what you think. It would definitely be nice to have a scissor lift for this part, especially for this big brute. <clears throat> it's definitely a lot to, a lot to carry up, man. This thing's heavy. I think what I'll do is I'll lube it. Once I kind of get it installed, figure it out here. I don't drop it and break it before I use it. Hopefully these ones will work. If not, we'll see. This is a real amateur using it too. <laughs> so there's the gear. Of course I screwed that up already, didn't I? Okay, there's that. Nothing's gonna fall out and explode. It feels like we're up against everything. So that feels correct. a problem already I see a problem already okay so what I was having problems with is I couldn't sideways get that that spring turner in there it wouldn't fit because the spring wasn't far enough away from the wall so I was fighting the, the header basically but I found out if I opened it and I scooped underneath of it I got in there and really not it wasn't that bad so just something to think about it was a little bit tight I had to swoop underneath with the whole mechanism to get it in there, but I couldn't go sideways. I probably could have if I would have pulled on the bar hard enough and stuff, but I was really struggling being on that ladder. Okay. Did that look correct to you? Get a line in the spring. I worry about this thing falling. I could definitely see where this is kind of problematic. Got our lube up here. Probably gonna have to put on the belt. There's just too much up and down on the ladder. Too much up and down. A little bit of dust in there. Okay, so we got that. Oh where I put that on. Let me go get a uh, marker. Ladder. Ah, there you are. Got our standard drill. Got a little chuck there. Make sure it's in good.
marker, drill, wrenches. Ratchet, we're good. It's kind of a bummer it didn't come with it. Didn't come with a line on the spring. I'm done that's using it. Oh, it's not already pre cut for me. Let's try that. Try a little more. There we go. Gonna go kind of slow at first here. Gosh, it's working. All right, that's the drill on high speed. I can tell it's it wants lower gears. We gotta put about 11 turns on this. What I did forget though, and boys and girls, is uh, I should definitely have my safety glasses. Famous last words, right? Leave that there. Hopefully that stays there. And don't forget to always wear a hard hat. But uh, I'm gonna get safety glasses. Oh, I already got some in here. It's like it was meant to be. Especially when you're using something new. Ah. Oh yeah, that feels, that feels much better. At least I tried. So now you're all witnesses, so when it blows up, I can go. I had safety glasses on and I'm in the hospital. This is definitely nerve wracking. It, it, it's just, it's gonna probably take something to get used to. I'm not gonna lie. Let's see, we got here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, hit a little rough spot there. Oh, you can see it's walking right here. There's some, which is fine. Oh, 
Okay, what are we gonna say we got here? I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so that's about where it needs to be. Let's go ahead and put this up here. Center coupler is looking pretty good, which it is. I believe I already tightened these down. Did. That's all good. Okay, this is going to be a little awkward for me. How do you do this? Well, how you do it is not the way I'm going to show you how I did it. The problem was, <clears throat> like I said, this was the very first time I used this. So on the on the last one I used, and then I was in a lift. It went really smooth. The problem is you don't need to pull back on it like a winding bar and then set it and then let it release. What I needed to do is I needed to tighten the set screws on the on the winding cone. And what I needed to do is then back off the drill and let the whole mechanism relax. Instead of sitting there holding it, really not smart. Um, so just take that as a food for thought. Definitely be way easier off a of scissor lift. Mm. Of course, I didn't go enough. That is just super hard to do off a ladder. <sighs> super hard. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. I'd say the a pitfall though is is definitely this bar. I, I and dropping stuff as the fear. Whew. All right. Got my bag so I can just throw my stuff in there. Okay. We got spring tension. There's that. Like I said, now if I had a scissor lift, be way easier. I don't think I'd recommend doing this off a ladder. There we go. Look at that. So there you go. There's the Surewinder. Or I'm sorry, there's the spring turner. It's really heavy. I would like to know the weight of this thing compared to the brute winder. Because it's a beast. But it did work. There you go. Keep up the good work.
Well, there you go. Let me know what you guys think of the, the spring turner. Um, like I said, it was it was definitely really nice compared to winding it with winding bars. I tell you what, the whole time I was doing it out of the four doors, so eight springs total, uh, there was no really huffing and puffing. Like I said, once I got on, there was a scissor lift you've seen at the very end. There was one out there. I ended up starting using that. It was a little overkill. as an outside one, but I didn't care, man. I was so burned out of that ladder. Uh, I was ready to to try anything. So um, it did the job. I'm pretty impressed. I'm really happy with it. Like I said, let me know what you think, though. Let me know if you think the Sherwinder is easier or if the Spring Turner or if there's any pros or cons. Um, give me any of your feedback. So hopefully this helps somebody out. Like I said, sorry about the video being a little bit off. I'll try to do better on the next one. And otherwise, I hope you have a nice day. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for being here. Take care. And God bless.